Ultimate Fighters on the NES. Casey Jones test. I R I S I R back. Then we're going to play Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the NES. I promise that we're going to go back and actually play the other arcade games. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of time for that. I want to establish the basics here. And for those of you who don't remember, the if you want an example of how far the NES had come since it debuted in Japan in 1983, this game was released, what... In 1992? This game came out after Street Fighter 2 was released. This console is 10 darn years old. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with this. First of all, where's the copyright date? Uh, 1993, yeah. That's how, that's how new this game was. I'll be playing as Casey Jones for this video. This will be a sort of a research stream for Casey Jones. Who I did play as when I played this game without without commentary a couple of days ago. He has a flash kick and a spiral attack, which is a reverse yoga flame. We'll get to that in a second. And what were the enhancements for this? Oh, well, this is fun. Allows hothead versus hothead battles. We'll show you what that's about later. Try pairing this with the move Sprite Flicker. Yeah, it's an... <laughs> they, tr they tried to make a fighting game on the NES. Now, don't be mad. They tried to make Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy, and that was an even worse idea. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Yep, they tried to make a fighting game on the NES. In fact, <laughs> just get a clip of that. That's right, kids. They tried to make a fighting game on the NES. That's how old this console. That's how long this console lasted. This console came out in 1983 in Japan, as I recall. And this game somehow got released in nine, 10 years after the fact. This console had been in circulation in the United States for so long that it existed long enough to get a fighting game made for it after Street Fighter 2. So this is basically a game that came out 10 years after the console launched, and it winds up being a fighting game. So this console went from being a Donkey Kong console to being a fighting game console. I mean, I think there might have been one other fighting game that was officially released on the NES Famicom. Uh, this was the only one I actually remember. I'm not including Double Dragon because that was not a fighting game. It was basically a wrestling... That one-on-one -on -one fight was basically a wrestling match. <laughs> Yeah, there was a versus mode in Double Dragon on the NES, which is technically a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match, for being honest. Um, we'll keep the timer for now. We'll set everything as normal. 
You know, said everything is normal for now, but I did pretty well with Casey Jones when I played with him earlier. This is just a case. This is just a research stream for Casey Jones. Casey Jones has a couple of the special moves. He has a flash kick, hold down for two seconds and press up in the uh, punch button, and he has a spiral attack, which is a reverse yoga flame, towards down, reverse, then the attack button, the punch button. I want to play. I played. I want to say I played as a couple of turtles when I did my test run of this game. We're gonna play versus CPU for a couple of for a couple of rounds. Yeah, well, can we, we can do Casey versus Casey. I can't adjust the strength of these characters unless I have a second controller. So I'll muck around with the joypad a bit later, but not now. Yeah, we are going to muck around with the strength of any of these characters. But you need a second controller to adjust the CPU strength. So let's try to establish a couple of basics. You can run towards a character by double tapping left or right on the D-pad. If there, if you see a fireball, you can pick up the fireball and then use a fireball motion, the Hadouken motion, to get it off. We'll worry about the rest later. Let's just muck around right now. Whoop. If you get close enough, you can throw a dude. Whoops. So I can kick with A and punch with B. Sometimes you die before you can even pick up this stuff, so I don't even know if it's worth chasing after. Yes, yeah, so you double tap forward, then you hold down the second direction. So, tap tap to run towards a character. And you have running moves. Chip damage. Let's try a running kick. Yeah, that's the running kick. Hey, he threw me. Can't get it. Suplexed him. I might have to adjust those uh, those ratings to, to determine how much damage my attacks do. That might be the trick. Because these fights don't last very long. It's like Virtual Fighter 1 in the arcades. These fights don't last very long. Let's <laughs> try to do a running kick. See? Run towards him and press the kick button. But it's pretty effective. See? It's an anti-air. Whoop, got behind me. I blocked that. That's a throw. Ah. Ah, chip damage. <laughs> I've blocked, but he... <laughs> he chipped me to death. We'll set up a couple of rematches again, because so I'm going to establish the basics. But I think that running attack, that running kick that I do, where I, like, kick up in the air, that's a nice little anti-air move. This seems pretty effective. I mean, as you can see, the collision detection on this isn't particularly great. So I'm kind of fudging. I'm kind of fudging a lot of my fighting game strategies here. We'll see how it goes. Because, like I said, that running attack was pretty effective. We'll do my special moves later. Throw him. That takes off a quarter of his health. Yeah, he got behind my running kick. Ah! Got me. That's a throw. Three throws. 
and I got him on the running kick. So three throws and a running kick killed him. So four attacks ends this fight. <laughs> three super. I mean, that's not on my Street Fighter two, because a, a throw in Street Fighter in the original Street Fighter two did like one did like one quarter damage too. So that's not. But I mean, the fights are obviously not particularly complicated in this game. Throw him. As soon as he recovers, just throw him. Got crap. Just throw him as he lands. And I just threw him as soon as he landed. <laughs> I mean, fine. I just, I just turtle, I just turtle and block. <laughs> well, you think you can't turtle in a Ninja Turtle fighting game? <laughs> you can turtle in this game, obviously, even if I'm a human. <laughs> so yeah, I just blocked. And then, as soon as he recovered, I threw him. <laughs> Not particularly complicated. So we'll try some harder opponents a bit later, but I'm gonna do a couple more fights, then we'll play against the other turtles. This is also normal difficulty level, so I'll crank up the difficulty later, too. We'll see how it goes. I didn't have to use any of my special attacks, either. Get him when he lands. Okay. Got him. Got him. Get him when he lands. Ah, couldn't get to him. He stunned me. Yeah, I think he might have stunned me. See, why even bother picking up that... Yeah. Don't even bother picking up the fireball. Just suplex him when he lands. <laughs> it's not complicated. So just block, then suplex, then block, and then once he lands, just hold towards and press the attack button. The punch button in this case. You just throw him. I haven't even had to use my, I haven't used, had to use any of my special attacks. That's a throw. Ah. That's a block. Throw him again. He recovers pretty fast after those throws. Yeah, try to get behind him. Okay, he got me. Throw him anyway. So he recovered really fast after that throw. So as soon as I suplex him, he recovers right away. So he might get a cheap shot on you. As soon as you throw him, he might recover really quickly and get a cheap hit on you. But you see what I'm doing? Just doing this. So I haven't used any of my special moves. You saw him do his little jumping hockey stick swing. That didn't affect me any, and he keeps doing that spiral thing, but I don't need to do any of that. I could do that, that, that reverse yoga flame, is that's what that tornado attack is. But I just block it and then just grab him as soon as he lands. So we'll go against the CPU on a harder difficulty. Let me go back. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, we'll do the option. No, option. Nineteen ninety-three, dog. This is this is like a year after. It's like a year and a half after Street Fighter Two dropped. So they had to pump this game out in a hurry, I guess. And part of me feels like these are the same folks who did Raging Fighter on the Game Boy. Similar mechanics, at least it seems to be. The timing of the uh, attack seems to be somewhat similar. We'll go hard. Only three difficulties. I mean, look, if you have, if you were if you bought this game in 1993 because you didn't have an NES or you couldn't afford, your parents couldn't afford uh, Street Fighter II on the Super NES at the time. I still had my NES back then, but I stopped playing it right around 1993. So I mean, I, I could even rent this game if, if I wanted to. So there were a bunch of games that, like, like maybe like a dozen games that came out, like Batman Returns on the NES, which was a, which was a Ninja Turtles like brawler, uh, Kid Clown, which I believe was a platformer, uh, Little Samson, obviously one of the more one of the rarest NES games as I recall. Uh, let's do all the turtles. So we'll play on normal difficulty. And we'll see how it goes. 
But I think I'll be fine. But this is the hardest difficulty level, so we'll see how things hold up. There aren't that many moves, obviously. It's a two-button fighter. It's not what you people want on the NES of all consoles. Try to do a running kick. Yeah, he has that uh, di head diving attack. Be careful. Can't do my running kick. Is that my running kick? No, it's not. Playing keep away. Yeah, not doing my uh, running kick. That's my running kick. Whoops. Nice counter. Okay, that's four hits. That was only three. And Leonardo has a sliding kick, by the way, so don't let him get low on you. Uh, fireball move. That's the fireball. So you do the Hadouken, but you have to pick up the fireball to do the Hadouken. Ow, he got me. That's his Tatsumaki. Ah! Should have blocked the fourth kick. I should have blocked the fourth kick. I blocked the first three, but I didn't block the fourth. So he does four, he does four spinning kicks. And I think he does chip damage, too, so... Careful. So I guess I only do my uh, vertical foot if someone else is in the air. Yeah, Leo has that sliding kick. Be careful. Got over him. Ah. Yeah, that's a throw. And that's my spiral. And that's my suplex. Ah! Tried to throw him. So we did, so we did two kicks after that. Well, that was, those were two running kicks. That's all that was. Suplex. Gimme. So you have to press the punch button. You have to crouch to press the punch button to grab the fireball. Then you do the Hadouken move to throw a fireball. So every character can throw a fireball, but you have to actually pick up the little fireball icon right there. Which is a nice touch, but it depends on how the flow of the match is going. So I think we'll be fine. We just need a bit more practice. This game isn't nearly as hard as the Super NES game, which we'll play later. I do have videos of me playing the Super NES game on original hardware. Um, and that game is really hard. Like on the normal difficulty, like level 4 out of 8, the enemies will destroy you. It's really rough. That's a suplex. Ah, he threw me. I tried to do my spiral kick. Wow. I, yeah, that's my spiral attack. There we go. Let's try a corner trap. There's my spiral attack. With a throw. Another spiral attack. So I can probably spam the spiral attack and then try a throw if he blocks. Or even if he doesn't block. So I can try and spam that spiral attack. Remember, it's a reverse yoga flame. Tore down, then away, and then the punch button. You jump in the air and do that little tornado move. So I could try that. We'll do another rematch. We'll try with all the turtles, don't worry. It says it's basically a research stream. Like, you understand that the, the technical aspects of trying to do a fighting game on the NES 1983 vintage hardware is saying something. And it wasn't even state of the art when this console came out. But they had to use all kinds of fancy chips to make the game large enough to actually be a legitimate fighting game. Like this game was probably like four megabits. Maybe it might have been six. I'll have to double check. That's a perfect run. <laughs> I'll let your boy. <laughs> New batter! Strike one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot to do all my Casey Jones, Raphael jokes. All my references. He blocked it. Ah, he has a torpedo header. 
And if he blocks, I just throw him. Stunned him. This is the hard difficulty, folks. <laughs> I mean... I mean, the controls are surprisingly responsive for the kind of game it is. Which is an NES fighting game. <laughs> surprisingly responsive controls for a game like this. Like, unlike the original Street Fighter, you can actually pull off special moves in this game. Which is more than I could say for Street Fighter 1. <laughs> nice. Have you tried playing Street Fighter 1? I did, I did a video on this channel where I played the original Street Fighter 1. It's god-awful. It's almost impossible to pull off special moves, which is the other problem. But this is surprisingly comfortable. I'm using the D-pad for all my uh, controller inputs. It's fine. So good on them. They refined the controls a bit. I mean, can you think of a fighting game with better controls than this game on the NES? I mean, how many fighting games were, well, I mean, Double Dragon, if you're gonna include Double Dragon. Yeah, that was his kangaroo kick. He has that same dumb move in um, Ninja Turtles 3 Manhattan Project, where he just does that donkey kick. I'm like, what does that have to do with the nunchuck? Anyone can do that kick. <laughs> But each character has like, what, maybe a dozen moves? So it's not like, this isn't like Street Fighter 2 we're talking about here, but... Can sit, can sit, whoops, he threw me before I can do my spiral kick. There you go. Should have blocked. There you go. Took that hit, son. I think he recovered pretty quickly during that stun. But yeah, another uh, twofer. Another 2-0 victory for Casey Jones. <laughs> Your instructor. See, I'm pretty good at this again. I've only I literally only played it for like 20 minutes before starting this video. And that was two days ago. <laughs> imagine spending imagine spending $50 on this game. So there's your problem. I mean I knew a dude who um, kept his NES long after it was viable as a console. But um, you know, his parents didn't buy him a Super Nintendo, so he was stuck renting, he was stuck renting NES games. So he played this, um, I know he played Bat Batman Returns on the NES, he might have played one other game. But he was asking me, like, what do I, what can I play on this thing? I guess, I guess, I guess he wanted to play something new, he didn't want to keep playing the same old games. But how many games could you have rented back then on the NES? Like, maybe Final Fantasy. Whoop, he stunned me. Ah. Okay, it's on now. Throw him when he lands. Ah! Got me first. Okay, I got him. That's a... F Whoop, recovered from that pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. He recovered from that really quickly. <laughs> I was trying to throw him as soon as I was... As soon as I landed. I thought he was stunned. Ah, he threw me. Okay, that probably won't work. He's probably figured it out. Yeah, that's probably too risky. Okay, can't do that anymore. Ah, see? That's too risky. So I can't do it that way. But <laughs> I tried to do a, a get-up counter, and he threw me instead. So I guess his AI kind of wised up to my tricks. <laughs> we'll find another strategy. Don't worry. But I beat three of the first four turtles pretty easily by abusing that strategy there. I mean, I'm not worried that there are only seven fighters because, again, when Street Fighter 2 came out, there were only eight that you could that you could play with. But Street Fighter 2's characters had way more versatility. Way more variety. Except for Ken and Ryu, of course. Because back then, they were still just clones of each other, pretty much. Yay, he didn't even, he didn't even get stunned. He just stopped blocking, you see? So I can't throw him, I can't throw him. Yeah, there's my hockey stick. 
try to punch him as soon as he got up. I might be able to do a crouching attack when he gets up. See if I can keep him from throwing me. Because, you know, basic Street Fighter 2 strategy. Counter people when they get up. Hit them as soon as they get up. Yeah, can't, can't throw him. Wow, he stunned me. No, he didn't. Ow. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, for, I, accidentally, I accidentally did that move. But you're saying something. Careful, he's got fireball. He blocked those. Not that time. That's not a combo, but I somehow survived that. How you like that comeback? <laughs> okay, I'm doing pretty well now. <laughs> pretty good use of color in this. Hey, this this pretty colorful arena here for a sewer. The purple uh, the purple sludge is a nice touch. Gives me a Vice Project Doom Vice Project Doom vibe. Oh, and there's line scrolling on the floor. Look at that. You see, there's line scrolling on the floor. That's a nice effect. <laughs> That's a hard effect to do on the NES. <laughs> well, they did it in Manhattan Project, so. The Ninja Turtles 3 had that uh, Manhattan Project, uh, had that line scrolling effect when you're in that second stage where you're surfing on the water. Tried to counter with my anti-air, didn't work. He threw me. He just threw me. I wasn't trying to pick up the fireball. I tried to do my flash kick and it didn't work. I don't think I don't think it's worth it just kind of hang back and wait for him to do an aerial attack. You're probably better off just trying to charge him. But he will throw you, so you have to kind of be on your guard. Yes, yeah, so you might need an anti-air. You might need like an anti-throw counter. Yeah, the sewer is surprisingly colorful. <laughs> so again, props for the pixel art in the backgrounds in some of these areas. Not this area, though. This is actually kind of plain. But again, nice little line scrolling effect. Which you don't really expect on an NES. You can see the bottom of the... You can see the floor down there. That's that line scrolling. So a suit, nice little pseudo 3D effect they got going on here. Tried to throw him when he landed. Yeah, I can't throw him. So if he blocks that, I can't throw him. So we'll try a different strategy. <laughs> Tried to throw him when he landed. Ah. As soon as he recovered, he threw me. Ah, tried to do my anti tried to do my anti-air foot. Tried to do my vertical foot. I got the fireball and he kicked it out of me. I couldn't throw him. He broke the stun before I could throw him. So I think my vertical kick only counts with enemies in the air. So if I run and try to kick an enemy that's above me, I can do that vertical kick. There are no like crouching uppercuts or anything like in Mortal Kombat, so don't worry about that. So the sewer might be the best looking area, or might be the only decent looking area in the game, if I'm being honest. <laughs> That's the best looking sewer I've seen in an NES game. <laughs> and that would include that might include that would include Batman, I think. Batman and Vice Project Doom have some very good sewers. Very psychedelic colors in their sewers in those games. Of course it helps that two those are two of the best looking pixel art games and those are two of the best looking games on the console. Not so much this game though. But that sewer looks like a sewer from a from a bat from a Sunsoft or a Vice Project Doom. 
Like a really good sewer. Like a Ninja Gaiden sewer would look that good. In fact, I think Ninja Gaiden did have a sewer in Ninja Gaiden 3, was it? Block the fireball. Ah! Try to do the vertical kick. I tried to do the vertical kick. So Donnie might be the guy who uh, ends my run. <laughs> like I said, I'm just practicing. I'll, I'll switch to somebody else if he becomes a problem. I like the fact that you can pick your... You couldn't, you couldn't do one-on-one -on -one fights like this against the CPU on Street Fighter 2. You had to play this. You had to play the story mode. Ah! Try to get behind him. Like I said, it's reasonably responsive. Again, given the console it's on, it's kind of an achievement. <laughs> Getting all these moves to come off without too much input lag. But, I mean, th this is not a competitive fighter, obviously, but <laughs> it'll do the job. Like I still, the Super NES game, I think, is the game you might want. Is the game you should be playing. This is more of a novelty. So we'll switch to somebody else. Um, we'll fight somebody else. But, I mean, I never really wanted to play this game as a kid. But I was always curious how it would turn out. Because, as a kid, I always wanted to know what an 8-bit fighting game would look and play like. And I never got a chance to play this game when it launched. Like, this is the first time I've ever played it. Before the little test run I did a couple of minutes ago. Like, a couple of days ago. There's my vertical kick. See? So, so his deal is he just he just constantly jumps towards me. Throw him. That did it. Perfect run. <laughs> like four vertical kicks and a throw. Well, I got I threw a spiral. I threw a spiral in there, so that's good. The spiral zone. Well, they got a hit on me that time. Whoop! Should have blocked that. Yeah, that was gonna throw me. That was not a hard hit. Ah! Threw me. Ah, he got me. He got me. Okay. So I might need a hard difficulty to get a real fight against these guys. I mean, I burned through the first three turtles on the hard difficulty. Got me. And I can't throw him. Okay, that was messed up. Get him when he lands. That was a two-hitter. Okay, fine. I tried to pick up the fireball, and that didn't work. Yeah, I, did an, I did a running uppercut. Yeah, when he tried to jump towards me, I did a running punch, and that was my uppercut. So you have anti-air attacks while you're running, which I think is a nice touch. Another V for Casey. Is that pretty good? We'll do one more fight against Casey. I can whoop him on normal difficulty. It's just the hard difficulty that's hard. It's the hard difficulty that's the problem. So I might have to adjust the damage to get a harder fight against some of these a against some of these AI characters. But yeah. like I said, this is not a competitive fighter. But it seems reason it seems surprisingly good for what it could have been on the NES. Like, this is way better than Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy. I think we can admit that. Now, is it better than Raging Fighter? I I don't remember liking Raging Fighter. but Because I, I did own that game. It was one of the first Game Boy games I bought, actually. Try to do my spiral. I think he kicked me out of the spiral. He recovered really fast. Yeah, he recovers really fast after those suplexes. Okay. 
I think that's true. I think that's true of him because he seems to recover faster than anybody. And that's saying something. Got him. Ah! Tried to punch him twice. <laughs> Got him. I landed first. I did it. The sound effects aren't that great, but I mean, you know. The music seems decent, I guess. Like, slightly above average. All, I think these are all original tunes. Nothing from any arcade games. Which you think they would have done, which is rearrangements of, like, songs from other Ninja Turtles games. They decided to be, uh, original. Which isn't bad. Got him. So if you stay some distance away... Whoop, you got me. At that time. Nice recovery. Yep, I landed first, so I get to throw him when he lands. <laughs> That's how you do that. I mean, it's like, it is what it is. It's At some point, it's not like, at some point, there's only so much you can do with a fighting game on this console unless you significantly change your approach to what a fighting game could be. I would argue. But as a traditional one-on-one -on -one fighting game with, with sprites this small, and you don't have that large a move set, you gotta really work on your collision detection. And I don't know if even Capcom could have pulled up a really sophisticated fighting game on hardware this on hardware this limited. Like they said, doing a collision detection on sprites this small, I'm like. You could do it, but how tight could the, or the, what the control is going to be on this hardware? I don't think I can throw him. Yeah, this guy's just a, this guy's just a flicker fest. So he's the Zan gif of this game. Add an anti-air. Need to use it. Got him. So I can't throw him. Okay, so I can't throw him. That seems to be a thing. Which is fine. But yeah, this is a pretty large sprite for the NES, so... You can see the limitations here. That's probably why you're not you're not allowed to have a hothead versus hothead one-on-one -on -one fight. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I don't know my strongest attack. Guess I can try a couple of spirals back to back. He doesn't do that much damage. Or maybe it's maybe the damage you do is based on this character. Yeah, I don't know this I don't know what my strongest move would be against this guy, because I can't throw him. Like he might just absorb more damage than most people, so that might be a thing. The instruction manual says there's a few more tricks to this kid. To hothead. Again, more size limitations. There are only four there are only four stages to fight in. So, size limitations. <laughs> you only had so much room on the cartridge, and most of that should have been spent on um You had to spend it on uh what you call it. You had to spend it on sprite data. So you could have more moves. Okay, I couldn't stun him. He's got a long range on that. I can throw him. Look at that, back to back. <laughs> That's kind of cheating. <laughs> so I guess I can throw him. <laughs> it's like, okay. Well, it's good to know because I just did a three, a triple suplex combo. <laughs> That's pretty good. So let's see if we can abuse that. So he blocks a couple of those. Whoops. He burned me before I could do the uh, spiral. That's a throw. Yeah, he, he gets up in a hurry. 
So we can just keep doing this over and over again. Yeah, so he gets up in a hurry. As soon as I suplex him, he gets up right away. So you can just keep spamming that over and over again. <laughs> that might be a that might be a legitimate strategy for beating him. <laughs> okay. So we'll try a couple of other things before we end the video. And we'll fight him one more time and then try Shredhead. Well, it's official, I've mastered uh, Casey Jones. I go back. Keep it normal. So I'd say the sewer's the only area that looks good enough to fight in multiple times. <laughs> this one's okay, I guess. They got purple and blue and gray, so that's kind of a nice combo. Now I could throw him. He got a cheap hit on me. So I just I just ran through the cheap hit and just ran right to the suplex. <laughs> that big old sprite <laughs> might be the problem. It's easier for me to throw him <laughs> after I take a hit to the face. And were you expecting their first NES fighting game to be balanced? <laughs> of course not. Heck, even Street Fighter 2 wasn't that balanced. I mean, think Guile and Dulcine were overpowered in that game. And you have Zangief doing freaking, you know... You have Zangief doing like freaking like spinning pile driver combos in that game from like a third of the screen away. <laughs> so they had to tweak that game a lot, but it's still better than this. Street Fighter 2 is still better than most fighting games of the uh, most fighting games at the time. That Zangief BS is just garbage, by the way. If you were a good enough Zangief player, you knew exactly how to abuse that. Three punch, three uppercuts, followed by three suplexes. Just an unbreakable combo. <laughs> A perfect fight, look at that. <laughs> I think I broke the game. Oh well, what are you gonna do? That's the kind of game this is. <laughs> that was on the hardest difficulty level, by the way. So we got one more fighter. A Shredder has a hundred hand slap, and I think he has one other attack, I forget. Normal. Keep forgetting the pirate ship. Yeah, the pirate ship, it's okay. So, arguably only the downtown and the sewer are really worth fighting in multiple times. This is just a bar. Aren't you call it? I guess they weren't allowed to call it a bar. Yeah, I guess Nintendo wouldn't allow, wouldn't, 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 wouldn't allow them to call it a bar. Okay, no fair breaking that stun. Whoop, couldn't throw him. <laughs> nice counter throw. I'm very curious how well this game sold, given how late to the party this game was in terms of the console was released on. Hey, okay, that, that sucks. Hey, you're killing me, Smalls. Throw him. Hey! Okay, he's gonna be tough. <laughs> As you would expect. <laughs> I don't know, you think Shredder might be a little bit overpowered in this game? <laughs> Apparently was super overpowered in um the Super NES game. It's kind of spamming charge attacks constantly. Yeah, so it's the sewer in downtown. Those are the two levels that I'm willing to do multiple times, I guess. Guess the character profiles aren't that bad. 
Nothing really exciting as far as the art goes. Okay. Couldn't throw him that one time. Yeah, not sure why I can't throw him. Probably th yeah, see, I'm not sure why I can't throw him. It was really easy to throw Hothead, obviously. I was doing three-hit suplex. I was doing three-hit triple suplex combos on him. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with this. Ow. Nice anti-air. Remember, he has those fireballs. He just gotta keep him from throwing you, I guess. Okay. Okay, no fear with the vacuum throw. Oh, I'm supposed to block low. Gotta block low. See, I tried to back out, but he threw a... He countered me with that jump kick. That might be some button-reading AI, by the way. Yeah, I tried to back out of that, and he hit me with a jump kick as soon as I backed out of that, so... You can barely hear those sound effects, so it's not great. So only hit him once. No, you don't. Hey! Try to try to throw him. Gotta hit low. Gotta hit block low. Yeah, he got me. I tried to do my spiral when he got me before I can launch. Oh well. I could probably try the jump. At the problem with the flash kick, you know, the little hockey, the flash kick hockey stick, is that it just leaves me wide open as soon as I land. And that was just me just not getting it off. Got him with the spiral. He doesn't need a fireball. <laughs> Pretty sure he doesn't need a fireball. Try to throw him. That is a really strong punch. That's like a third. That's, that's like a, at least a quarter of my health. That's pretty bad. It's a vacuum punch at that. <laughs> it's not just a hundred hand slap. It's a vacuum hundred hand slap. It pulls you towards him, doing a quarter doing a quarter damage to your health. That's pretty bad. Double suplex combo. Oh, couldn't do the triple suplex combo. <laughs> he countered me as soon as he got up. Yeah, see, I tried to throw him. I thought he was still stunned. I thought he was still stunned. It had to have been like two vacuum punches and a fireball, and that's all he needed to kill me. That sucks. Like, we got him with those punches ASAP, otherwise he's gonna throw me or hit me with that 100 hand slap. See, he blocked that. Thought he was still stunned. Ah, should've blocked low. Ah! Kicked, he jump kicked me out of the spiral. <laughs> but there you go. Gotta win. Hard fought. <laughs> you make you or he makes you earn it, dog. I don't think you can throw him reliably. I think that might be too dangerous to try to throw him because he hit you with that vacuum punch. You just wasted your time. Yeah, tried to block low like that. 
He might be able to do a crouching kick to keep him from uh, rushing towards you. Kicked him as soon as he got... Mm. Kicked him as soon as he got up. Not close enough. Ah, I blocked low, but I still got through. Okay, we'll try one more time. So it puts up a little bit of a fight, but most of the people aren't that strong. I still think those triple suplex combos on Hothead were hilarious. <laughs> That's the kind of game this is. Again, I promise I'll play more the I promise I play the art the melee brawlers, the arcade games. But I have to get the NES games out of my system first. And there's one more Game Boy game I'm gonna play, but that one, Radical Rescue should be fine. It's supposed to be one of the only good games in this collection, unfortunately. <laughs> like this is a filler game. Like you bought this you bought this Kawabonga collection for 25 bucks. So this is included as part of the bundle. But the only reason to buy this game is to play like Ninja Turtle, or to play the Super NES version of Tournament Fighter, and maybe Radical Rescue. Ah, anti-air. He got me with the anti-air. Get a couple of uppercuts there. Are the running attacks stronger than the regular attacks? Well, I got another win. Barely. So I guess I'm two for ten against this guy. <laughs> I'll take my W's when I can get them. <laughs> I mean, he's blowing me out by like, you know, 70s, 80% when he wins, but I'm barely scraping by with 10% of my health when I beat him. At that time, son. Tried to get him when he landed. I tried to kick him when he landed. No, you don't. Oh, I tried to punch him. Don't know what was going on there. Got him. That did it. Finally got a win. Okay, let me try a couple of things. What's the strategy guide say? After all that, we're going to read the strategy guide. Team Shredder has finally given up on kidnapping people. <laughs> now he just wants to throw down. Got released in February of 94. Wow. Unreleased in Japan. Yeah, they didn't even want to bother. Uh, it was kind of late. It was kind of late for the Famicom, 12 years after its release. Well, the game doesn't actually let you play a Hothead v. Hothead match. There's a way to do it. Well, there's, a, there's an enhancement that lets you do that, but you could also choose any character other than Hothead, then set Hothead as a CPU player, play the match, and select a rematch. Now choose Hothead for yourself. Okay. So it's sort of a menu trick. Unfortunately, there's a lot of flickering in that mode, apparently. Double tap forward with an A character to dash. Stuff like that. So when we play as the turtles, we'll try that out, but... Fine. Uh, the manual says press B to pick up the fireball. You should actually crouch and press B. When my brothers were partying, I studied the blade. He also has a slide kick, and he's the only turtle who can do that. So you crouch in A, like Dolcim, I guess. That's the Genesis fighting game. Okay, we'll get to that later, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play, I've, again, I've already played the Super NES fighting game on this channel before, on the original hardware. But well, obviously this emulated version has, doesn't have a broken RGB chip, so the, color, the colors will pop a lot better. <laughs> but I'll take that W. Okay, let me try a thing. I'm going to back out. 
Uh, remove the sprite flick. I didn't know there was any slowdown. <laughs> Clash of the Hotheads. Um, try pairing this remo with remove sprite flicker. We'll see how it goes. We'll play it authentically, and then we'll see how it goes. That's a nice little trick they just did. That's a nice little trick they were doing. I don't know any of Hothead's moves, so we'll see how it goes. The manual had a cute little trick where it says, Oh, you're not allowed to do a Hothead versus Hothead battle because lore, dump, because lore reasons, basically. I'll show you what the manual says in a second. So look at all that flickering. I guess I can see why they turned it off. <laughs> Yeah, I got all that flickering. We have to accumulate. Remember that these are two very large sprites on the NES you're trying to work with here, so let's not complicate things. We can't do the enhancements from here. Body splash. You hold down and press punch while in the air. Is that how you do that? <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of flickering. Which is probably why you're knocked into the bottom of the screen when you die. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of flickering. Yeah, it's like a dive kick. You hold down and press the uh, punch button for a dive kick. Alright, so we'll go back and try a thing. So let me show you a couple- we'll come back to that in a second. I want to show you a couple more things. And the manual. Termin fighters. First of all, think of all the paper that was wasted. Think of all the paper that was wasted on this story. <laughs> uh, so, what does this say? Jumping kick. Sliding kick for Leonardo. I'm standing over the fireball. You have to hold down to pick it up. Then you do a Hadouken move. Again, surprisingly responsible for c controls. So they did that part right. Number of victories. Yeah, okay, fine. Accumulate means you'll hold the pad in that direction for two seconds. You're charging. Like a flash kick or a... Like, like a flash kick or a chun -Li helicopter or a sonic boom. That old thing. Leonardo's moves. He has a hold down, then do a Tatsumaki. He also has a sliding kick that no one else has. Uh, turtle drill. Hold down, back, then press towards and B. Uh, Mikey. He has that kangaroo kick. Hold down, back, then towards. And oh, you can go high or low. That's more subtlety than I was expecting out of this game, to be honest. And see, it says here his leaps are high, but his defensive abilities are weak. So they try to make the they try to make the character somewhat distinct. Average everything. Leonardo is the Ryu of this game. Uh, Raphael, I guess he's just uh, I guess he just hits hard. <laughs> Donatello, his attack is a little weaker. He has a heel drop, which is a flash kick, which you saw me lose to several times. There's Casey Jones with the flash kick and the spiral attack. Again, the somersault stick, I mean, it's like whatever. It's, it just leaves you vulnerable. It's an anti-air you don't even really need, I would argue. They say he's vulnerable to strong attacks. No idea what that means. Thanks for not explaining any of that. A former fireman. Uh, special move is the fire breath, which is a Hadouken move. He spits the ball rather than using it as a fireball. Okay. 
And Shredder has the uh, 100 hand slap and the tour down, tour, then down for the uh, power wave. <laughs> power wave. Nineteen ninety-three. What a year, huh? I want to say Street Fighter Two dropped in the United States on the Super NES in nineteen ninety-three, the summer, or I think uh, Thanksgiving of nineteen ninety-three. I want to say is when that game dropped. Seventy-nine ninety-nine manufacturer suggested retail price. Inflation? What inflation? Cartridges were expensive back then, kids. That game was sixteen megabits of. Capcom fighting power, as I recall. So, we'll go back to the enhancements. We remove the sprite flicker. So, I'm curious how this Clash of the Hotheads will go. <laughs> but it's a nice way, it's a nice to be able to play the game the way it was meant to be played, without all the te without as many technical limitations. But that's not going to fix this game. The problem with this game is not the was not the flickering. If we're being honest. Whoops. So we'll do hothead versus hothead and end the video. So if there's no flickering, that should be pretty interesting. I mean, I didn't notice any slowdown, did you? It's going down to the sewers. I don't think Hothead was in the cartoon show. I'll have to double check. It might be one of the later seasons. Like the red one of the red sky seasons. Is that supposed to be any flickering? I think the flickering's still obviously still here. I was hitting the wrong button, that's why. Ow. And now I'm trapped in a corner. Can I do a two-one? Like, there are no combos in this game, really. That is what it is. So we didn't get rid of the flickering. Maybe I forgot to turn it on. No, the flickering's still there. So I'll... It's an enhancement that doesn't work. It is what it is. Maybe if maybe when it gets patched, that maybe when it gets patched, they'll be fixed. Okay, so we'll come back to this. Probably. We'll come back to this. I'll give it more of a chance, but... I think this game's kind of boring. Games. O. T. L. T. So that was Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the NES. Casey Jones practice.